I'll see you anyway, guys. So right now, I'm just at, I'm just in Bosnia and Herzegovina over here, and I'm near Mostar, a place called Mostar in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And you have to understand that all I want to teach you guys is how to think, because thinking is a way of life. You have to understand that thinking is something that you do on a regular basis to succeed and achieve things for yourself to recognize a better way for yourself so that you're growing and so that you're learning but when you get tired you have to understand that you have to push through and you have to use your emotions because your body is never tired or your body never gets tired of anything but your brain is always orchestrating something around your life and it's trying to control you so you have to understand you have to take back control of your life in ways that you grow and in ways that you do life better I see guys, the whole point of life is to make sure that you're going and thinking in a better way so that you're doing things in a correspondent way where you're always understanding that you're doing something in terms of behavior where you're helping yourself and other people to grow. But you have to understand, I read something around flies, for example. You have to understand that they're scavengers and flies are scavengers in ways that they eat carcasses and they eat flesh meat and they eat fresh meat and stuff like that. And you have to understand that they also go around people who are sweating and people who are, for example, smelling like fruit or vegetable, <coughs> for example, because there are many t types of flies out there. And you have to understand that you have to realize that when you grow yourself in the moment, you have to do things in ways that you grow. You have to grow yourself the best way you can because that's how it is. See guys, so I suffered an injury today and my thumb is bruised in terms of my toe finger, which is my toe thumb is bruised as and I sprained my arm. I fell down and I wasn't looking in front of me. So just be careful guys. Make sure that you can see up ahead where you're traveling to. I was walking and I was trying to do a joke on my mum. And my mum and I were looking at each other while walking forward. And I tripped over this thing that prevents cars from going in there. And it was like a little lob kind of thing. And it was just concrete pavement. And it just prevents cars from actually going into that place. That's why they put those things down on the roads in terms of on the footpaths so no car can park there or anything like that. <clears throat> I tripped over one of those. But today, otherwise, I had a good day. I am much more aware about my thinking skills and where I want to go in my life. I see it's much more how my mum and I are trying this pill. We're using this pill to try to lose weight and it's much more how I'm not as hungry as before and it's much more how it's sort of helping to help me to go to the toilet and stuff like that but the thing is that now since I'm actually here doing my thing I feel like making music I feel like doing something for myself over here where I can make something special for myself to grow from or to learn how to do something for myself to help myself grow I need to actually help myself to do a better job for myself so that's how I actually grow but the thing is that you have to always perform at your best you have to do the best job you can every single day making sure that you're doing God's work every single day learning the skills and architecture of whatever it is that you're learning <clears throat> so you have to understand that, for example, there's a drink called Rakia and it's a Serbian beverage and it's a Serbian alcohol. And what that does for you is if you drink it, you can get a hangover, you can get a hangover from it. And also you can make it with plums, you can make it with apricots, you can make it with cherries or grapes or, or any type of fruit that is a pear or apple. And there are plenty of more fruits, like, for example, you can make it with nuts and stuff like that. You can make it with honey and roses. 
in terms of plants and stuff like that. So it's much more how I've been learning the Serbian beverage Rakia with myself and I'm performing at a better level in terms of my life coaching ability. I'm much more able to grow from what I say and what I do. Oh, but the thing is that I'm just really, let's say, tired today because of the sun. I was in the sun, I was in the swimming pool today and I injured myself today so I have to get back to 100% and that happens guys just make sure that you're looking up front make sure that you're viewing all your surroundings make sure that you're not tripping over and make sure that you look at anything that's below 30 centimeters or anything like that on the road somewhere so that you don't trip on the footpath anywhere like me and just make sure that you're doing a better job so for myself now do I feel like making music right now? I can make some music, but the thing is that I have to start writing something down. I have to do something to succeed. <clears throat> I have to perform at my best. And I have to do something to just relax and enjoy my time over here in the best kind of way. So that's how I'm always helping myself grow. But lucky I didn't break my arm today. I didn't break my legs. I didn't break anything in terms of my bones but I was very close to breaking my arm today and I see it's much more how I'm doing my better job today for myself from learning but there was this girl today and I didn't want to approach her because it's not my job too and the thing is that if I approached her I would have just made a conversation with her and she would have went her separate way anyway and it's much more how she wouldn't go for me but the thing is that, how do I know that? I mean, the thing is that I have no time for her. And I know that for myself. I have no time for her. But if she is willing to go all the way for me, then I have time for her. You know and the thing is that she's not willing to go for me. So she didn't approach me. And why would I approach her? You know what So it's much more how there's always a place where you can go speed dating somewhere and once you go speed dating you can also for example you can go speed dating and you can find these people who are looking to mingle with one another and who are looking for a boyfriend or husband or wife for themselves and stuff like that and you can be in that setting of people to get connected around people to set yourself up for success if you want to do that for yourself you can go to these places where you can speed date someone and you can take them out you can pay for their drinks pay for their restaurant whatever it is pay for them make sure that you pay pay for a good night out it's not about the sex it's about seeing each other again and again you understand it's making sure that you're corresponding to a better way of life doing a better way of jobs i mean doing better jobs for yourself and other people making sure that you're orchestrating your life around how you want to succeed with but right now I feel like it's making music for some reason. I realize I feel like making vocal music or something like that so that I can help myself grow. But it's much more how you know, I have no time for vocals to be honest. I feel like just making some sounds. I feel like making something. I don't know what I'm going to make. But the thing is that you have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. And I feel like life coaching as well. I feel like just talking words, explaining myself, doing things for myself, helping myself. But I'm enjoying my time with my mother here. And this injury sucks. I'm pretty sure it sucks to have an injury. Oh, it sucks to have an injury, guys. But plenty of soccer players and plenty of tennis players get an injury and stuff like that. So you have to be careful, guys. Just make sure that you be careful. And never take things so seriously unless it's your passion. Take your passion seriously. Make sure that you're growing yourself into the best potential that you can. Every single day, grow yourself into the best person you can be. Probably that's the best advice I can give you right now. Probably everything else is not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Probably life is not worth it when you're not healthy. Probably life is not worth it if you're going downhill. Probably you have to go uphill. And you have to do better than yesterday, you understand? 
You have to compare yourself to yourself. I mean, never compare yourself with other people. Compare yourself to yourself. Are you better than yesterday? Are you someone that's looking much better than yesterday physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and financially? You know what I'm saying? So right now with my finances, am I doing better than yesterday with my finances? I promise you, yes. <clears throat> I'm doing better financially now than I ever was in my life. Because I'm getting disability support pension from the government. I'm getting more money from the government now. I have much more credibility in terms of staying away from certain things in life. Now I have more knowledge on how to have more money in my life. And I'm doing better financially now than ever before in terms of my knowledge. And I'm doing better spiritually than ever before. But physically is where I'm going downhill in terms of my physical health. You know, see, my physical health is going downhill because I'm smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol and drinking caffeine, for example. So that's why, and also I'm eating meat. I'm eating stuff that's not vegan food, for example. So that's why I understand that I've been eating also white sugar, white sugar and stuff like that. So that's where my physical health has to do better. I have to do better in terms of get rid of the white sugar, get rid of cigarettes, get rid of caffeine, get rid of alcohol for myself, get rid of restaurant food and stuff like that, start going to the supermarket on my own, start going and really, really dwelling upon eating whole foods for myself. You understand? So that's what I need to do for myself to grow. And I can do that in Australia. <clears throat> I can do that now, but the thing is that my mum is not willing to go with me. And it's not because of my mum, I promise you, it's more because of me. And it's more how I have to ask her to help me out here. So I still haven't done that. But the thing is that emotionally, I'm doing better emotionally. I'm doing better emotionally than ever before. I see that for myself and... I need to grow, I need to learn, I have to persuade myself to do better for myself, to help myself to do everything that I can to succeed every single day. I have to focus on a greater way of life for myself and, and, and promise you, I promise you nothing's more important than that every single day, explaining and comprehending for yourself something about life. So sorry guys, I'm, I've been just... I've been doing something with my arm over here. So I sprained my arm recently. And my muscle spasm in my, on my arm is not too good at the moment. So I have to be careful of how I move my arm around. Because I cannot straighten out my arm, for example. So it's sprained, you understand? I have to be careful. I have to heal up. I may have tear the muscle or something like that. So I have to be careful. So, if you want to do better, make sure that you understand that if you break your arm or if you dislocate your arm or if you break a bone, make sure you go to the hospital. Go to the hospital, guys. Do, do help yourself to succeed. But now, I feel like just doing myself over here. I'm just relaxing. I'll try to relax as much as possible. Oh. <clears throat> I try to relax as much as possible for myself. I have to charge my watch i have to charge my phone i have to get in the rhythm and you have to succeed guys you have to every single day talk about something do you understand i mean the more you talk about things the better you are but today at the pools i've seen plenty of opportunities where i could have talked to a woman and stuff like that but they don't want me i ask god do they want me i promise you god knows everything i promise you he says no you understand i promise you what's the point of talking to them What's the point in talking to someone if they don't want you? You understand? Know I mean, why would you approach all these women to get rejected by all of them? Do you understand? Know <clears throat> and why would, I, mean, I ask God, why would a woman chase me anyway? I see God says, well, you have a heart. I promise you, you have a different heart than other people. You understand? Know so, a, a person can chase you because you have a different heart to other people. 
and saying you're a different person, you've got a different persona, you've got characteristics about you that you have a great attitude, you never get angry. For example, you you have a great attitude toward people, you understand? So why wouldn't people chase you? I mean, you understand? So the thing is that plenty of people block themselves from chasing other people because of appearance and because of money and because of status. Unfortunately, sometimes status. Unfortunately, it's because of things that a person has, for example, in their life. So a person might not have a lot in life, so they don't get a lot of people chasing them. You know, sense so I promise you all women want some guy who has a great body, f- physical appearance and stuff like that, who takes care of himself, is his best version, stuff like that. I promise you all women want someone who's their best version, you understand? <clears throat> I was once my best version, and now I'm just... Trying to get back to that stage and trying to help myself to grow. <sighs> I promise eventually I'm going to get there. I promise it's not a struggle to get there. I promise it's just a few simple disciplines every single day. Just disciplining myself to do the best job I can. I promise that's all I have to do. I haven't had a shower for two days now. And I was going to have a shower tonight but I'm injured. You know, saying I, don't, I don't feel... That it's necessary for me to have a shower right now because my arm is sprained. I'm not going to be able to shower properly. Do you understand? So I may stink on rakia, I may stink on something. So I put some rakia on my wound, for example. And you have to understand that rakia, which is an alcohol beverage, can also kill bacteria in your throat. So it helps you to relieve cough symptoms and helps you to get back to help your status, so if you have a cough, drink some alcohol, so you can kill all the bacteria in your throat, so that's what I learned, and also I learned that you put alcohol in terms of rakia over a wound, I mean make sure you always have rakia in your home, so you can understand to put rakia over your wound, so that you kill the germs, kill the bacteria, for example, so you don't get an infection. So if you if you put alcohol on a wound, then what happens is it kills all the bacteria. Yes, and it kills all the infection. It, it helps you to never be infected about life. Do you understand? It helps you to never get an infection. Alcohol helps you to never get an infection. Do you understand? So if you rub alcohol on you, where it's bleeding or where where you've been bleeding or where you have a wound or, or something like that or a cut or anything like that rub some alcohol on it and that way you will kill any bacteria to never to never get an infection do you understand <clears throat> pretty much everything i teach has been already taught by other people you know and you can always find my information everywhere i'm pretty sure other people have my information but they never have the information that I have. You know, in terms of everybody has their own information about life. But the more you study, the more you know. And the more you can teach what you know. You understand? So you have to lead people through a greater awareness. You understand? So all I'm saying is just teach your awareness to people. Teach what you can. You understand? Don't teach what you don't know. Teach what you can teach at the moment about your life about the experiences you've learned about something that changed your life or a habit that you want other people to succeed in or anything around confidence where you can build confidence to help yourself to succeed or anything around music production or whatever you're interested in. Teach people something that you're interested in and just teach them. Do you understand? Teach people and just relax and just enjoy the ride of life. Do you understand? That's what you need to do, but teach attitude. Teach people how to have a great attitude, you understand? I don't get angry anymore. You understand? I think that once the people over there, in terms of life, put me on medication because I got angry, I mean, it's so stupid, but the thing is that that's how God wants me to be at the moment. I promise you, God wants me to be in this position. I mean, God wants my choices, you understand? God wants me to live a great life as much as possible. 
You know, saying God wants me to live like Jesus Christ as much as possible. You know, saying God wants me to follow Jesus Christ as much as possible. <clears throat> and to live like Jesus Christ lived. Do you understand? So that's what God wants for everyone. But God also put me in this position. You know, saying because something out there was out of this control. I mean, you're saying I wasn't thinking. I wasn't in the right moment. And I wasn't, I was always in the right moment, but I wasn't in the best state of mind. I wasn't in the best state of mind for my situation. <clears throat> and I escalated it to anger. Do you understand? And the thing is that God just put medication on me and just taught me, and He's like, just don't get angry. Do you understand? Don't be angry at people for how they are. You see, I got angry at my dad. I, I started shouting. I started. I, I was. I was just unaware. I was totally unaware about what I was doing. You understand? I, I was just raising my tone. I was banging the door. I mean, never bang the door. Never be banging the door on your dad or mum. Never bang the door. Never break windows. Never break. Never break your household. Never throw stuff in your household. Never try to break anything. Never try to break the windows in terms of never try to break the walls. Never try to damage your wall in your home. Do you understand? Never try to put a hole through your wall like I have. You understand? I punched the wall, for example, and I broke it. I broke I broke the jibrock that was in the wall. And there was like a hole in the wall in terms of W-A-L-L. -L. In a sense, so I was very, very much disobedient to God. I was disobedient to myself for allowing myself to do that. Do you understand? If I experienced it, I've been through it. I'm telling you now, it's not the way. You know, saying the thing is that you have to enjoy yourself and never hit your parents, no matter how much they spit in your face. Never hit them, you understand? And also, never ever hit anybody. You understand? Never hit a woman because she hit you. You understand? Never, never get up off the bike to hit someone. Never go to jail. You understand? Never be in jail. Never get a criminal record in your life. I promise that's how to think. I mean, I'm teaching you how to think. <coughs> I mean, you have to understand that my life is a purpose. What I learn through daily life is what I teach you in my audio programs. And who cares about that? There's someone who cares. There's someone out there who's listening, who's viewing my content, who understands me. You understand? And I'm, I'm going to live. I'm going to live a long time. I plan on it. And life goes quick. I'm pretty sure life's going really quick. I haven't worked a nine to five job much in my lifetime at, at the moment, but I've been doing a lot of work around passions in terms of my passions. And it's a long journey, you guys. You have to understand. You have to understand it's a long journey. I'm pretty sure you have to go slow. I'm pretty sure everything's slow. I'm pretty sure when you read something, it's slow, slow, slow learning. And yes, you have to really absorb that information really slow. You know, saying people are slow learners, and you have to be a slow learner as well, and you have to be a fast learner as well. And how do you learn fast? And just make sure you start reading something as much as possible. You understand? Reread the sentence as much as possible until you understand it. You know, saying reread a book uh, until you understand it. You know, saying make sure that you get to the point of understanding. So there's so many there's so many words around Serbian language that I don't know. In life, I'm sure there are people out there who just know English, for example. I know my Serbian, I know Balkan language, I can speak to people in Slovenia in their language, I can speak to people in Russia in their language, I can speak to people in Bosnia Herzegovina, in Senegora, or Montenegro, or Croatia, all in Balkan language, do you understand? Or Yugoslavian language. <clears throat> but that's the way of life. And 
time goes quick yes and so you have to experience it very quickly so i'm going for an experience now i'm i'm going for some kind of experience now and how does it feel to be in this position in terms of this i mean it doesn't feel good but she doesn't feel good to be injured you understand but the thing is that i do feel good to some extent I feel good to some extent, so that's the kind of extent that I'm talking about. You have to feel good eventually. You have to feel good about yourself. And I feel good to some extent, do you understand? But I also feel bad, do you understand? And you have to help yourself to do something for yourself, regardless of the situation. You have to grow, you have to keep in contact with people. You know what I'm saying? Keep in contact with people. You know what I'm I mean, why? I mean, why not? You know what I'm The thing is that if you keep in contact with people, you always have friends. You know what I'm It's better to keep in contact because otherwise you have no friends. I mean, don't you want friends? I mean, if you want friends, you're willing to contact them first. You know what I'm Be the one always contacting them first if you want friends. Never wait for them to contact you. You know what I'm that's what I've learned recently. And also, if you don't contact other people, they're never going to contact you. Yes. And so, just realize that. So, if you want friends around, be the one who contacts them. Yes. Then stay, stay in contact with them. See how they are. See what they're doing. See stuff like that. Yes. And be in contact, is all I'm saying. Because otherwise, you won't have friends. Yes. And so, you have to reach out, reach out for people. So, I promise you, if you don't chase that girl, I promise you, what, what makes you think she'll chase you? I promise you, if you want that specific girl in your life, then you have to, I promise you, you have to be willing to chase her. I promise you, if you want that specific man in your life, you have to be willing to chase them. You understand? Because if you don't, then something better may arrive in your life. You know what I'm saying? The thing is that if you don't chase anything in life except Jesus Christ, I promise you, you have the best life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why do you want to chase a woman when you have Jesus Christ? I mean, why do you want to chase, I, I, I mean, why do you want to chase a man or woman in life when you have God? I mean, why don't you chase God in life? You know what I'm saying? Chase God. I mean, that's what you have to chase in life. You don't chase, you don't chase any of your dreams in life. You know what I'm saying? You don't chase your dreams. You chase God, you understand? And that's what I learned recently as well. I promise you, if you chase God, I promise you, your dreams are fulfilled. You understand? You'll fulfill yourself in everything. I promise you, people say, chase your dreams. I mean, never chase your dreams. Chase God, you understand? God is your dream, you understand? That's the biggest dream of all. So... If you're learning anything from this audio program, I'm definitely learning something. <clears throat> and I'm becoming much more aware of the more I speak to you, and the more I speak overall, the better I am in terms of everything that I do. Yes, and so I have to be willing to grow, otherwise nothing happens. You understand? So right now I'm on holidays, but the thing is that I'm still working. I'm still trying to work for God. I'm still trying to do something for free because if you're not willing to do something for free, then you have no passions. You understand? So be willing to work for free. I promise you, when you work for free, you'll find the passion in that freedom. Do you understand? You'll find a passion in what you do for free. You understand? Try to give out as much as possible. Give money, give information. You understand? I promise you, all I can give in life is information. Russia, you understand? Russia, when people are asking for information from you, you give them information. You give them what they ask for. You understand? Russia, that's all they're asking for. So make sure you give people what they ask for. You understand? So you have to give of yourself, no matter what. Russia, I've seen a woman today, and she was asking for some money from me, and I didn't give her the money. I gave her something else. I gave her an opportunity to go find it somewhere else. You know what I'm so it's much more how I needed the money. I need the money for myself. You know what I'm saying? And what's one dollar or two dollars in Bosnia and Herzegovina money? I mean, the thing is that 
it's a drink that I can drink something. You know, since the thing is that not everyone can help you. You know, since so you have to be willing to ask at first to receive. You know, since so she's going to keep asking someone and someone's going to deliver what she asks. But never be the one asking for money on the street because that's not the way to go. <clears throat> that's not the way to live. I'm sure this woman had a bottle of water with her. And she had no teeth. I'm sure she, she had maybe a few teeth. And she was missing teeth. And she's like maybe in, in her 40s. And so I'm not comparing myself to her, but I'm not on the street like her. You know, you know I mean, you understand? So it's a tough life if you're on the street. I mean, you have to understand, you have to pull yourself up because nobody's going to pull you up except for you. Yes, and you have to learn that. Yes, and you have to pull yourself up. You have to drag yourself to work. You have to get to work and make life work. I mean, make your number one priority in life to be with God and to work for God. Yes, and so when you go to work, you're not working for that boss of yours. You're working for God. Go there for God, not for your boss. Not for the 9 to 5 job. Go there for God. Yes, and wherever you're traveling to, travel with God, not with your family. Travel with God. Yes, and when you're going and talking to someone, talk about God. Yes, and talk about everything. Yes, and talk about life. Yes, and so if you talk about anything but God, I promise you, you must understand that God's always going to appreciate everything you talk about. But the thing is that you have to always make the subject of the conversation around something better around God and never be ashamed of God you know what so if someone says that they don't want to talk about God then just don't talk about God with them you know what so make sure that you never try to make people angry you know what so make sure you never try to make enemies but the thing is that the more enemies you have and the more people will hate you the more success you have so all I say is try to make more enemies in li in life. Try to make more people hate you. You know what I'm The more people hate you, the more they drag themselves down. You know what I'm saying? So I have some people who hate me. You know what I'm People are jealous of me because of how I am and what I do. But they don't see my special qualities. I'm probably my special qualities, I'll tell you now. I promise it's my ability to have a great attitude. And also not get angry. And also my ability to give what I have in terms of information. And also my experiences around life. You know, approach, that's my gift. And it's what I can give out of myself that is the most special thing about me. You know, so I can give you companionship. I can give you a relationship. I can give you teachings. I can give you present moment. I can give you... God, I can give you the pathway to the truth. I can give you everything that you want. I mean, what do you want? I can give it to you. I'll go work for it. I'll go work for it. I'll give it to you. You know what I'm But the thing is that a woman doesn't see that in me. You know what I'm They see a fat guy. You know what I'm saying? They see some guy who's fat. And that's it. They just see that. You know what I'm saying? They see how much money I have. And they see my image and they just don't, I mean, they get grossed out by me. Do you understand? <clears throat> I mean, that's how women are. That's my interpretation of a woman in my life. They get grossed out by fat guys. Do you understand? But I see many guys who are fat, fucking beautiful women because they have money. Do you understand? So, but the truth of the matter is like, once a person sees your heart for who you are, I promise you, that's the most beautiful thing in the world. I promise you, when someone realizes who you really are, in the depths of who you are, and they understand how you joke around, they understand how you do things, they understand what you say and what you do and why you do it, you know and they understand you for everything that you are about. Promise you, that's what's the most beautiful thing in the world. When someone understands you, <clears throat> so you have to be willing to understand people and where they come from you know what I'm saying so when someone doesn't understand you you have to communicate that to them you have to communicate that you have to tell them what you mean and why you mean it and what is holding you back 
and what you think is not holding you, holding you back. And you have to talk it out with them. And you have to understand if you want to survive in this world or if you want to thrive in this world, you have to talk. You have to talk the most you can. And you have to solve problems, you understand? You have to solve the most problems in the world every single day. So my ability to talk is my gift. It's a gift, you understand? I promise you, if I wasn't talking right now, if I didn't talk this audio program out, if I didn't talk to you the way I did already, then I don't know what I'd do, guys. I would probably be doing music production then. If I didn't do music production, I would have no purpose. I'd be a lost eagle, you understand? I'd be a lost sheep. I wouldn't know where I'm going. I wouldn't know why I experience things. I wouldn't know what to teach you, you understand? I mean, isn't it better to just start somewhere and just start teaching something than to not to not teach anything? I mean, what's better for you? I mean, is there someone that's teaching you something or someone that's never teaching you anything? I'm actually, it's much more that I'd rather go with the person who teaches me something than the person who teaches me nothing. You understand? I'd rather be around teachers. I'd rather be around people who are spiritual gurus, teaching me spirituality, teaching me psychology, teaching me mindfulness, teaching me present moment, teaching me confidence, teaching me public speaking, teaching me talents and abilities like singing, music production, teaching me everything under the blue sky and moon, guys. Yeah, so I'd rather be with those people. I'd rather be with people creating something every day than people who are creating nothing. You understand? I mean, isn't it boring when you create nothing in life? When you have nothing to create anymore. Which is the most boring thing in the world. <clears throat> I understand there are many people like that. Unfortunately, many people don't see creation in the words they speak. I mean, look at my creation. In all these words I gave you in this audio program, unfortunately, that's something I created. You understand? That's something. I mean, it's better than nothing. You see, it's better than not doing the program at all. You see, I at least started somewhere. And I, I, I tell you right now, I'm so stupid, guys. You see, I'm, I'm very stupid as a person. You see, I'm not even smart. You understand? I'm not even close to smart as a person. Yet other people think they're so smart to never even teach other people anything. You understand? So you have to realize that each and every step of the way, you're always teaching people who you are. Do you know how many people and women ran away from me? Apparently many. Apparently people, a lot of people run away from you in life. But that doesn't define you. It doesn't define who you are. Only you define you. Apparently only you are the controller and the creator of your life. So only you are the one that's really judging you, you understand? Firstly, people can judge you all they want, but your opinion is what matters the most about you. So if you say that you're confident, that's what you really mean. Firstly, other people can say you're a shithead. Firstly, if you believe that to be true, then it is. Firstly, then that's what you are. So never go by the opinion of other people. Firstly, my mum's boyfriend today said that. He said that in terms of that sound, which is this. He said, that's rude. He said, it looks ugly. Well, I said, it doesn't look ugly. He's like, okay. I'm like, yeah. You understand? So it's like a burp, you understand? But it's not ugly. For, for me, it's something special. You understand? I'm something special in life. Never, never believe other people in what they say about you. You understand? Because everyone's going to have a different opinion about you. Some people are going to say you're shit. Some people are going to say you're good. Other people are going to say you're bad. Some, some will call you evil. You know what I'm saying? Who do you believe? Or just believe yourself. Believe yourself. Your, your opinion matters the most about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fashion model. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is that I took it off recently. And it's like I don't even call myself a fashion model anymore. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still a fashion model. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fashion model of other things and other natures. 
In a sense, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it back on the internet and I'm going to say I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan in other ways. You understand? Know I eat vegan food. I'm vegan. You understand? Know so the thing is that I want to be vegan all my life. You know understand? The thing is that it's just the way you look at it. It's the way you experience things in life. You understand? Know so you have to realize that what you say is true to some extent. I mean, everything that you you say in life is always true. To some extent, it's true. I promise you, someone ex- someone is always experiencing what you say in life. Yes, you know and so you have to experience life on your own. And the more experiences you come come up with in your life, the more age you have, and the better spiritually you are, and the more you grow in everything that you do. And the more you travel, the better you are, you understand? So you have to realize that you have to go places, do you understand? But go where it's more comfortable for you in a way that you can grow, do you understand? Go somewhere where you can grow the most. Actually, that's something that you have to remember. So where do I grow the most? I grow anywhere the most. But where do I grow really the most? I promise you, go where you grow the most. That's and that is your road. That's and where you grow the most, it can be reading something, it can be public speaking, it can be watching the TV somewhere. But you just go where you grow the most. You understand? That's where you need to be. When you're growing, that's where you need to be. You understand? So I'm growing the most right now because I'm doing the public speaking in terms of I'm doing this audio program for you. So this is my growth. This is how I grow. Life is not just what you read. It's what you say and do. You understand? So you have to appreciate your body. You have to appreciate yourself. You have to really, really make an effort. You understand? Because if you're not making an effort, guys, approach you're not really living. So make an effort to have a success to have success in your life, to have a successful life. You know, and so it's easy to make a kid, but you have to feed the kid, you have to grow the kid, you have to clothe the kid, you have to wipe the kid's ass, you have to shower the kid, you have to walk everywhere with the kid, you understand? <clears throat> you have to understand how it feels to be a father or a mother if you want that for yourself. Some people don't want to be a father or mother. Some people want to be a father or mother, but God hasn't given them that yet. You understand? I mean, do I want that now? Porsche, no. Porsche, I'm not ready to be a father right now. You understand? And why is that? Because I'm traveling at the moment. It's not the best time for me to have a father, I mean, to be a father at the moment. I mean, it's just, I, I can see that for myself. I, I see that. It's just not the road for me at the moment. But eventually, once I settle down in one place, once I start working that nine-to-five job, once I get off the medication, once I get myself in better stages, I'll be ready. You know what I'm saying? I'll be ready and I'll go search for that girl or whatever. I'll go search I'll go and seek and you shall find. You know what I'm saying? If you seek, you shall find. Well, it's so simple to seek out something. But seek out God even more than what you want. You know what Because when you're seeking out God, I promise you, God provides you everything that you want in the moment. God talks to you through feelings, through your feelings. God talks, how you feel is how God feels about you. You understand? Know so, how you feel is, God, is what God feels about you and even more than that. You know, and so you have to realize that you can speak to God through feelings, you can speak to God through words, you can speak to God even while saying words that you don't even understand. So I'll show you how to speak to God in tongue language. I don't even understand a word I said, but God understands that. You understand? God understands exactly what I said. I don't even know what I said. There's a, there's a hidden language that people understand. You understand? So there's a there's a thing going around that if you speak words that you don't know, God can understand how you feel. 
God can understand exactly what you are saying to God in that moment because everything has a sequence. Everything has words to it. You understand? So there's always a way for God to understand you. You understand? God just wants you to always feel your way through life. Do you understand? And when you feel your way through life, you can actually grow. You can do whatever you want. You can go places. You can enjoy. You understand? And it's been 25 days now since I've been with my mum. And I've been having a blast. I mean, she took me mostly places where I would never ever go alone. You understand? And I'm much better now at life coaching than I ever was. Actually, five years ago, I was never even doing audio programs. I was never even making much YouTube videos. I didn't even have a YouTube five years ago. You understand? So... Now it's different. Probably my friends over there, probably them, they're not doing anything. But they're working nine to five jobs so that they can make money, so that they can have a kid, and that's it. That's their life. That's all they want for themselves, just to work that nine to five to have a kid. I mean, isn't that stupid? Do you understand? Because they want to travel in between, but they're working nine to five job to make money, so that they can have enough money to travel. And to have a kid, eventually. You understand? But once you have a kid in life, you have to settle down. You cannot keep traveling while you have a kid. You understand? You have to settle down somewhere. I promise you, see, look at Arne van Buren, for example. He's, he settles down in Netherlands over there. Do you understand? In Holland. And his wife and kids live in Holland while he goes and travels the world. You understand? And he goes on a tour somewhere and he comes back to the Netherlands every every week to see his family. You know what I'm saying? And he does a radio show and everything. But it's very difficult to get a child to tr- come and travel with you everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because that baby needs to be fed. That baby needs clothes. That baby needs to survive with its mother or with you. And you have to understand that it's really, really difficult to travel with kids anywhere these days. So you have to settle down. Do you understand? So, before I even understand something, I teach it. Do you understand? And I don't know what I'm talking about, but I make sense. You understand? And the thing is that many people are scared. They're afraid to teach something in life. But they teach. Do you know how, for example, some people, like my mother or other people, and like my mum's boyfriend, probably they love to talk about themselves. <laughs> They love to talk about themselves, they love to teach me, but why aren't you teaching more people what you are doing? I mean, why do you just want to teach me for? I mean, why don't you teach people on YouTube and let people catch up to you on YouTube, for example? And say, why don't you make all these videos teaching people how to live life, how to really deal with life on a daily basis, so that I can watch and so that other people can watch? But they don't want to because they're ashamed of themselves. They don't feel that they can do it, you understand? And then they look at me and they say, oh, but that's not a passion. Brush, that's my passion. Brush, that's my hobby or whatever it is. Brush, that's my work. And saying, I call it work, I call it passion, I call it hobby. And they say, my hobbies are my passions. My hobbies are my work load. And they say, or, 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 I realize whatever is my hobby is my work. And they say, some people love to work as surfers. They love to be a surfer and they go on the beach to surf. And that's, that's work. You understand? Because you still have to live life. You still have to watch out for sharks. You have to work at that. You understand? You have to catch waves. You have to work for the wave. Do you understand? You have to work at everything at life. You have to work out things. You have to work yourself into a better frenzy. You have to do life in a different way that you've never done before. Do you understand? So I'm better off making things in life where I'm successful at things all the time, where I'm actually growing myself in different ways, where I'm actually approaching life in a better way all the time, you know what I'm because that's what, success, that's what success is, and that's what successful people do. You know what I'm saying? You approach life in different ways, and you talk about life all the time, you know what I'm saying? You talk about something, because that's what makes you a life coach, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a life coach. I don't get paid for it. You know what I'm I do it for free, and my mum doesn't understand that. I mean, she doesn't understand. She wants me to have a job that pays me something. You understand? And eventually, I'll get a job that pays me something. 
But that's not my passion. Yes. <laughs> Virtually, what pays me something is not my passion. What gives me money is not my passion. You understand? But what I give to the world is my passion. You understand? Whatever you're giving to the world is your passion. So find out what you are giving to this world. It may be words. It may be graphic design. It may be some images that you made. It may be some content that you provide to other people in terms of music or in terms of words or in terms of images or in terms of silence, that you can give people silence and give people anything that you're giving in terms of food or money. You know saying? Something is your passion. And it has to be something that you're giving. So my mum, my mum's passion is talking words. She loves to talk words. That's what she gives. You know saying? Probably most people are have a gift of talking words, do you understand? But they don't pick up on that, do you understand? And just because they talk words doesn't mean they're going to document their words. I document this audio program for you so that you can understand me, so that you can do the same and then you can grow your other people as well. You understand? My mum doesn't document her words much, you understand? Now, I document everything I do as much as possible and then I provide that for the world. You understand? Because that's my passion. So my passion is giving whatever I give. Like, for example, images, silence, words, music. You understand? I, I create as much as possible. I grow as much as possible every single day. I try to do the best I can every single day in terms of whatever I'm doing. You understand? So instead of sleeping right now, I'm doing life coaching because it's my passion. You understand? So sleeping is work as well. You have to have enough sleep in life to do your life coaching. And you know, to do music production eventually. You know, saying? so I make quotes. I make quotes. I journal things down. I have a writing journal. You know, saying? so instead of writing everything in my journal, I just document it through an audio program. I do everything through audio programs as well. And I do video programs. I haven't been doing video programs recently. But I've been doing a lot of audio programs and quotes and writing my journal in between things in between classes in between stuff in between my traveling you know, say i've been making content you know, saying, because you have to make something out of your life so try to create as much as possible try to develop that skill set to create something regardless of how shit it is or regardless of how good it is provided for free for other people to succeed with and you've done your job, you understand? So that's what you need to do. And you upload it, you understand? You make sure you give money for internet. Give money to have internet in your life. And then your whole life is going to be based on uploading content. You understand? Uploading all this content that you created, you understand? Approach, it's taken me one year to upload all my content online as much as possible. You understand? So you have to understand that I still have a lot of content to upload as well. But I've been, I have a YouTube channel now for one year, you understand, I'm still uploading content, you understand? There's a lot of uploading to do, a lot of things to do before I get to the place that I want to be. But the more I life coach people, the better I get, you understand? So I don't even know what to talk about. I just talk about something, I mean, you guys may see me talking to you like I know what to talk about. I don't even know what to talk about, it just comes to me, you understand? What I talk about... It's something natural, it just comes to me, it just, I make words out of words, do you understand? I figure out words, I go a certain direction in my words, and then another direction pops up and I go that direction. And then another direction for another word comes up and I just make sentences out of all these words, and then it just feels natural. I mean, it feels like I'm having a conversation with you, Rie. I it feels like I'm having a conversation with you right now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just natural to me for, for me to talk so much. Because I found that natural ability to be able to see the words that I speak. And I build my vocabulary as well. And I, I do that by doing my synonyms and antonyms. I just go, this is this, this is this, this is this, this is this, and stuff like that. I have a lot of content producing that way of life for you. So you can understand that. I just connect words together. You know what I'm saying? I connect the dots just like Vishen Lakiani, I connect everything, everything's one composition. And so when you're looking at things, you're looking for spark 
interest. You're looking for interest in everything. You understand? But go where the best interest is in life. Where's the best interest? I mean, go where it's more silent for you to understand to do your work. Go where you need to do your work. And you understand? Go where God is. I mean, God's everywhere. You understand? Go where God is. That's the best way. You understand? The best way is where God is. God will always point you in the best direction. You understand? So go and understand every single day to always have faith in yourself every single day. Do the best you can. You understand? Grow the most you can every single day. Live life to the fullest. I promise you, every single day, try to grow. You understand? Try to develop yourself in your nature and try to be someone that is new every single day, doing new things, doing something for yourself, taking yourself out, making sure that you're doing something for yourself in ways that you've never done before, you understand? That's what you need to do. So every single day I'm always understanding much more about life, but today is different. I have an injury here now, so I'm going to heal up. I'm going to get myself back on track. I'm going to do something for myself and succeed. And now do I feel like making music? I feel like just doing myself over here. I feel like doing something, you understand? I feel like I need to do something for myself. But that's how it is. I uh, I stuffed up my th- my toe thumb, you know what I'm and now I have to succeed. I have to succeed at something. So I'm much better now than I ever was before, in terms of some aspects. <coughs> but right now I'm laying on my face front over here. I'm laying face forward, and I'm just living life. I'm living life to some degree. So I'm trying my best. And that's how I succeed, guys. So, anyway, guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I hope that I've taught you something much more about life this time. And see you guys in the next program. I see. So, guys, I'll show you a story about me in life. I'll show you that other people comment on other people's profiles more than mine. And the thing is that If you realize that other people comment on other people's profiles more than mine, I promise you they see a photo. I mean, they see a photo and they comment really nice, really nice. Like the guy's physical body is, let's say, where it's meant to be. And he has tattoos and all that. But they don't appreciate my content. I mean, why don't you write to my content all that information? I mean, in a sense, so the thing is that I write so much content, I produce so much content, and and I don't get the appreciation that I deserve. (coughs) Do you understand? So, for example, tonight I went to Sasha Matic here in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and there's a place called Mostar in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I got drunk. I got really drunk, and I drank vodka Red Bull the whole way, and I learned never to mix my drinks, never to ever, ever mix my drinks, because when you mix drinks together, you can vomit, you know what I'm So, for example, once you drink vodka Red Bull at the start, make sure that you always order vodka Red Bull to the end of your equation. You understand? Because if you start drinking Jack Daniels and then whiskey and then vodka and then rakia, you're going to vomit. You understand? So never mix your drinks. Never drink beer and then vodka and then Jack Daniels. You understand? Make sure that if you stick to vodka, you're going to have a better time with vodka than you are going to have a better time with Jack Daniels and vodka, for example. So make sure you never mix your drinks. So what I mean by that is when you start drinking something, make sure you drink the same thing over and over again. Never never try to get a different brand of drinks. You understand? Because when you mix Jack Daniels with vodka, you start to vomit. You understand? But if you just drink vodka all the way, then you may not vomit. You understand? So that's the whole point. Is to drink and never vomit. So I learned that tonight. And I said to myself, never again. I never again want to drink alcohol. Because it doesn't make me feel anything special. 
it just makes me worse than the person I am. And I seen beautiful women tonight. I didn't speak to one woman tonight. I didn't speak to any woman today. I said they don't fulfill me in life because the woman I had in life never did fulfill me. And I always wanted more. I always wanted to fuck a woman to get her over and done with, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I, I never went for the kid. You know what I'm saying? I never did win for the kid. But maybe God provides me an opportunity someday and says, This is the girl for you, and take her or leave it. You know what I'm saying? So it's more how I have to mature. I have to become someone greater in my life. I have to do better. But have you ever heard the saying that if you listen to a drunk person, you will get the answer? Do you understand? So people who are drunk can speak from the heart. Do you understand? But you don't need to be drunk to speak from the heart. You can speak from the heart from being sober. You know, saying you don't need to drink alcohol and get drunk and get get on drugs to feel good. I'm so glad I don't take cocaine anymore. I'm so glad that I don't smoke weed anymore. I'm so glad that I don't do methamphetamine anymore. I'm so glad that I don't do ecstasy anymore. Yes, you know, and that gives me some kind of confidence. You know, saying it gives me confidence. That I can stay away from it. You understand? But now, it's different. You understand? My life is different. And I see, for example, on Facebook, I promise you, it's much more on Instagram. I see people commenting on random profiles. Like, for example, people who provide little value in the world. I promise you, these women and these men get all these comments and stuff like that. And I don't get the same thing. I mean, why? I ask God, why? I mean, what? Why do I provide so much information for people, and people never appreciate my work? I mean, people never appreciate exactly what I've done in the world. Do you understand? And God says that's the way it is. They didn't appreciate Jesus Christ and how much Jesus Christ done for the world. You know, saying? so I'm experiencing Jesus Christ in this moment. Yeah, you know, saying so I can say life sucks and life is good at the same time. But that doesn't mean I want to kill myself. I never want to kill myself. Yeah, you know, saying I'm half Serbian, half Croatian. When I wake up in the morning, I want to kill myself. I'm sure there's a saying like that, but that's not the case for me. I'm sure it's more of a joke. You know, saying the thing is that I am half Serbian and half Croatian. I'm proud of it, and also I'm Australian. I'm more I'm more of an English person than I am a Serbian person or Balkan person. But I'm glad that I'm Balkan. You know, saying I'm glad that I have Balkan blood in me. You know, saying because Balkans go a long way in different ways. And over here, I found today that you can smoke in. Pubs and nightclubs as well. You can smoke in restaurants over here in the Balkans, and they say nothing. I'm pretty sure I've seen today these women and men were smoking while they were bartending over there in the disco in the Balkans. But you can you cannot do that in Australia. You cannot do that in Germany. You cannot do that in Europe, except for the Balkans. In the Balkans, you can do it. So, for example, cigarettes don't fulfill you. Alcohol doesn't fulfill you. But sure, what fulfills you is your passion. I'd rather be at home alone, and I I truly understand what that is. I wanna I wanna grasp it. Do you understand? I wanna grasp exactly what being alone is in life. I wanna be alone. Do you understand? I wanna be isolated. I want to be so alone that I have nobody else but me. But the thing is that it's not that. It's really, I just want to be alone. I want to go places alone. I want to do things alone. 
I experience life alone. Because only I truly understand who I am. Only I understand exactly where I've been in life and what I've done and how to change things and how to better my life. Do you understand? Because nobody else knows. I don't know either. But the thing is that I have a better idea than yesterday. You understand? There was a girl called Gloria Grage in my life. Push this girl listens to other people more than me. But there was at one point she was listening to me. And she wanted me and she sat on my lap. And when she sat on my lap, I didn't kiss her. I missed the opportunity. I could have been with her. I could have asked her to be my girlfriend. I could have been with her to have a kid, to get married. But I wasn't mature enough. <clears throat> I wasn't man enough. I didn't have the balls. Do you understand? I was so scared. I was so afraid. I didn't have the words to speak to her. I want to be a kid again, guys. I want to be a kid. Do you understand? I want to. I feel like a kid. I feel like a kid in my feelings. But my brain is drunk at the moment. <laughs> yes, I'm drunk at the moment. And the thing is that it's much more how I'm getting sober at the moment as well. But I just want to talk. I just want to express myself to the world. I want to give you information of value. Because value is the best thing in life that you can give to other people. Yeah, then so... I've made mistakes in life, but I'm not the best I can be. You understand? I'm not the best I can be at the moment. I promise you, my best is somewhere in the sky. You understand? It's somewhere where I can reach it. I can come up to that point eventually. Eventually, I can come to the point of recognition. And once I get to that stage, I promise you, it's a slow journey to get there. I have to get off the medication because that medication just makes me gain weight. You understand? They put me on medication, guys. A bunch of people put me on medication. God put me on medication to experience something. You understand? And I have no other way out except for God. You understand? God is the provider for me. God said, hey, Danny, be on medication. <laughs> experience Jesus Christ for me. Do you understand? So God is the reason that I'm on medication. God is the reason why I'm on medication. God is the reason why Jesus Christ died on the cross. Do you understand? God's seen it coming. Do you understand? God's seen everything coming already. God sees everything before it happens. God is the know-it-all. God is the almighty. You understand? And you can never go against God. You have to agree with God. You understand? I agree with God. But I'm experiencing Jesus Christ at the moment. And that's a good feeling. You understand? To, to say that I'm the worst version that I've ever been. You understand? In terms of physical health. I'm at my worst you understand that? But spiritually, I'm at my best. <laughs> I'm at my best spiritually. And that's the, that's the amazing thing about life. That I can speak, I can talk, and other people don't have that opportunity. They didn't create that opportunity for themselves. I mean, some people are so dumb that they won't talk. Because they have nothing to say. I have something to say, guys. I have opportunity everywhere that I look. You understand? I, I get free accommodation. <laughs> I get free money. I get a mother and father. I get God. I get Jesus Christ. I have me. I have cousins, relatives. I have a life. You understand? I'm doing better than other people. But the thing is that I have to ask myself, am I doing better than yesterday? Am I, am I doing 
better than the person I was. Yes, and because that's what matters to me most of all. Because if I'm not doing better than the person I was, then my life is a failure. <clears throat> you understand? So I'm doing better than yesterday in terms of spiritual health. Yes. I'm doing better financially than yesterday. I'm doing better emotionally than yesterday. But I'm not doing better physically than yesterday. I'm doing better mentally than yesterday. I'm just not doing physically better. But what does being emotionally better mean? I see for me it means that you're just in the best space of mind. Yes, and you're you're in this best better you're in the best space of mind. So am I in the best space of mind? To some extent, yeah, in terms of spiritual health, I'm in the best space of mind to be teaching, to be doing my work, to be doing my passions. But physically I'm not doing good I'm not doing good physically. And if I'm not doing good physically, that means that a stroke or a heart attack can come by. So by the way I'm going right now, I just quit caffeine, I quit cigarettes, I quit the alcohol, I quit the Red Bull. I'm sick of it, guys, to be honest. I'm sick of that. You know what I'm saying? It gets me sick. I cannot breathe from that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I've been putting myself through hell. And why? Because I'm experiencing Jesus Christ. And that's why. That's the ultimate reason why. I promise you everyone suffers. I promise you everyone's suffering in life. To some extent, everyone's suffering. You understand? And everyone's going to suffer in this lifetime. No matter who you are. It's either other people are going to make you suffer, or you are yourself going to make you suffer. I promise you, you're going to suffer in one time or another in life. And suffering is a part of life. You understand? Because you're going to walk. You're going to be in pain. But pain is joy. And you have to understand that suffering is a choice. You make the decision to suffer. You understand? But sometimes other people can make that decision for you. So what I see is that sometimes God makes you suffer. God chooses for you to suffer. Because God chose for Jesus Christ to suffer. You know what I'm saying? But God's on your side. God just wants you to experience life. Do you understand? So you have to understand that you have to go a better way. There's always a better way for you. There's a better way for life. There's a better way to do things. You can grow yourself. You can explain yourself. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you. But you have to start somewhere. And you have to grow. You have to you have to learn to grow. Do you understand? So you have to start speaking. You have to start giving value. Do you understand? The more value you give, the better you are. Do you understand? Just talk. Talk your heart out. Every single day. Talk the person. Talk out the person you are. Do work for God. Do you understand? I live my life not for me, but for God. I don't live life for me, you understand? Because I'm only special with God. I'm not special overall. You understand? I'm special with God only. I'm not a special person, you understand? I'm just one person. But I'm a special person to God, you understand? And I'm only special with God in my life. But without God, I have nothing. You understand? I, I can achieve nothing without God. There's nothing that you cannot achieve with God. You understand? With God, you can achieve everything that you ever want. But God's going to show you the way. God's going to provide for you. God's going to say, hey, now's the time to change. Now's the time to take this direction. God's going to show you the future in your life. 
God's going to plan for you. God's going to do everything for you if you let God do it for you. Do you understand? So how do you let God do it for you? You have to plan it out. You have to start writing. And you have to ask God, what do you want me to do here? What do you want me to do here? What do you want me to do here? Do you understand? That's what you ask. You ask God, what does he want for your life? And then eventually you find your way. Do you understand? So God always provides. Do you understand? God's a provider. Do you understand? So God's a good God. God is not judgmental. God will judge you and also God will not judge you. Do you understand? The thing is that God wants you to live life to the best of your ability. Do you understand? But that's up to you. And now you have to ask God always, how do I get from one space to another? I ask God, how do I quit smoking, for example? I see God says to me, hey Danny, you start from one step to another. Make sure you start breathing. Make sure you get away from cigarettes. Make sure you say no to cigarettes. Make sure you do something better. And stuff like that. So the thing is that God always provides information. You understand? God's always providing information in your life. But you have to always seek it out. You have to seek out that information. I promise you all the women of the world. I promise you all the people of the world. Are just information. You understand? So the more worthy information you have in life. The more worthy you feel. Do you understand? Apparently everything's information, and apparently this life is a matrix. Do you know what matrix means? It just means that it's just a game. Apparently it's just a game, apparently it's just a test to see who's stronger than the other person, to see who's better than the other person, to see who's much more mightier, to see who is much more smarter. Do you understand? And the thing is that everyone's smart, everyone's equal to God. But the thing is that this life is a matrix. So that means that this life is something unknown. It's just a space of coding. Do you understand when you code something? You go on the website, you start coding something. It's just all numbers. Do you understand this life is all numbers. It's all... Predicting the future, predicting the moment, predicting the past, predicting everything. And sometimes when you talk, you can explain yourself. Do you understand? You can talk whatever you want. And you can explain exactly what you mean in the moment. So right now, I feel drunk. I feel, I don't feel drunk, okay? I never feel drunk. I can drink as much as possible and I never feel drunk. Do you understand? Because my feelings are never drunk, okay? But my brain is dizzy, okay? My brain is drunk. Do you understand? My brain gets drunk. My brain needs the dopamine hit. My brain needs drugs. Do you understand? My brain is wired to need drugs like alcohol, or cigarettes, or caffeine at the moment. Do you understand? But the thing is that all I have to do is say stop and that's it. No more. And that's it. You know saying? It's so simple. And then you keep it up and you stay consistent. And you tell your mum and dad, you say, no, I want to be a vegan. I want to be a vegan. You tell them, no more of this, no more of that. You know saying? I want to live alone. I want to walk my own way. And that's the better part. And saying, go your own way. <laughs> when you start living alone, guys, it's time to work at that 9 to 5 job. It's time to wake up early. I should no one to wake you up except for yourself. Brunch, you, you count on yourself. You count on yourself, guys. Yes, then you start meeting women out here. Out there somewhere. You meet a woman. You meet a man. You start building a family for yourself. You start encouraging yourself and other people to do better. Yes, then you start personal development in life. You help yourself to do better in all aspects of life. Do you understand? That's the way of life. <laughs> the way of life is better. 
but I should never ever go to a nightclub to drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes or drink caffeine. Never wait for the weekend to drink alcohol. Never wait for the weekend to do drugs. <laughs> do you know when I was younger? I'm always I'm always feeling younger. Do you understand? Know I'm, I'm always feeling younger and younger as I grow by. Do you understand? Know because my feelings say so. But the thing is that I'm always young. I'm always young to some extent. And the thing is that my body cannot take the drugs. Do you understand? Know so what I need to do is always grow. Regardless of what's happening, I have to do work for God. I have nothing else to do except for God's work. Do you understand? Know the thing is that people are sleeping right now in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm here doing a life coaching program. I'm drunk as. You understand? Know I have a hangover. I have a hangover at the moment. Like, I'm still feeling dizzy. Do you understand? Know the thing is that I want to talk. <laughs> I'm doing my passion, you understand? Know because sometimes even when you're drunk, you say stuff that you really mean. And sometimes when you're drunk, you even surprise yourself, you understand, know with your ability. I see a beautiful woman tonight. There's no chance I can get with them. And why is that? Because there's no time for them. I have no time for them, you know what I'm all I can do, I, I promise you, I can approach a woman, I can talk to her, I can buy her a drink, and that's the best I can do. Do you understand? That's the best I can do. But you, it's not about sex with me. Do you understand? It's not about having sex with her. Or she, that doesn't fulfill me. Do her words fulfill me? I promise you, yeah. I promise you, words fulfill me. I promise you, when you speak words to me, I'm sure that fulfills me as a person. Words fulfill me, you understand? I'm pretty sure what fulfills me makes me happier. But do I need words from them? I don't need words from them. That's the thing. I, I, I don't need your words to fulfill me. I, I can provide my own words. I can provide my own state of mind. I can provide my own happiness. I can provide my own joy, my own love. I, I don't need your love to live life. Do you understand? No matter how beautiful you are. You can be doing better than me and I, I don't need you. Do you understand? I remember when I was doing the best I can. Do you understand? I was really, really good. Do you understand? I was really out of space and mind. But I was doing the best I can. And the only thing that was the problem in that moment was that I thought that carbohydrates were the thing. You know, so I thought that eating a lot of carbohydrates was something that is good for you. But that's not the case. You know, so eating a lot of carbohydrates is fattening. Okay? You have to eat low carbohydrate food. You know, so but the thing is that they got me on medication and they put me on medication. I started eating, I started gaining weight. And again, I promise you, even before, I was eating all these carbohydrates and I wasn't getting fat. But once I started getting on that medication, they, that's what gained the weight. I gained the weight really fast. And in the space of three months, I gained 20 kilos easily. Do you understand? And that's what God wanted for me. You know, saying God wants me to be at this level. God wants me to be where I am at. But God wants me to do better than what I'm doing. Do you understand? Personally, it's not God's choice for me to smoke cigarettes. That's my choice. I, I admit to that. I take responsibility for that. It's not God's choice for me to drink alcohol. I promise you, all that God's choice is for me to take medication. Just medication. And not the cigarettes, not the alcohol, not the caffeine. I promise you, the caffeine, the alcohol, and the cigarettes is my choice. 
Yes, and that's different. But the medication is God's choice. God wants me to be on medication. Yes, then. <clears throat> so I do a better way of life, regardless. I try to help myself to do better. I try to help myself to do something that I've never done before. I live life to the best of my ability every single day. I try to do God's work every single day, regardless of what God's voice is. I understand I love God so much because He's done for me so much already. You understand? And He provides a free life for me. You understand? So, what's going to happen in the future in my life is my dad's passing away very soon. I give him three years, you understand? Three years he's gone from my life, you understand? And I need to do better. I have to get myself in the best space. I have to get myself in the best space of mind. Every single day I have to do something to succeed, you understand? Because I feel that I have to do better. And then, and that's what matters to me. What matters to me every single day is doing the best job I can. And that's what needs to matter to you. Do you understand? Because when you matter something in life, when you matter, isn't that the best thing in life when you matter? Do you understand? When you care about yourself, when you love yourself. I had so much joy in my life. Do you understand? I mean, you have to understand, I still have that joy. I still have that joy, but I came to an exhilarating feeling. I came to the point of really loving myself. I really got to know myself. Do you understand? I really got to get to that point of really understanding what loving myself means. Do you understand? I got to the point where I was eating peanut butter and hummus. I wasn't getting fat at all. You understand? And... My metabolism was fast. I had high energy levels. I was a fashion model. I mean, look at my YouTube channel thumbnails on my YouTube channel on each of my videos in my YouTube channel. I have all th photos of me. I mean, look at my Instagram. I have all photos of me. That's what you guys need to do. Do you understand? But now, since I'm fat, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> and the reason for that is because I'm fat. <laughs> I, I don't have that same motivation to do that anymore at the moment. Because I want to get myself in a better state of mind before I do that again. Yes, I want to be much better than yesterday until I do that again. And I will get there slowly. Yes, I will get to that point. But I show my flaws every single day. I show the person I am. I show who exactly I am in life. And you have to start somewhere. You have to work your ass off every single day doing something. Do you understand? I'm doing so much more work than other people. Do you understand? For example, this guy, I'm pretty sure this guy, Slobo Shivas, for example. And this guy's providing events for people. You know, he does events for people of a serving culture and he's well respected in the community. But the thing is that he gets more respect than me. You understand? I do more work than him in life and he gets more respect than me. I mean, do you understand that? I mean, how does that work in life? Yes, and the thing is, I'm not jealous. I respect that. Yes, and I respect people. I understand it's more how I ask God, why is that? And how, I mean, God says, they're unaware. They're just unaware of how much I can help them. Yes, and so you have to be willing to help yourself. People are not going to respect you as much as you want them to. No matter how much you give them. Look at Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm experiencing Jesus Christ in that moment too. 
Yes, and so why the reason people are not following me is because I'm feel, I'm feeling Jesus Christ. Yes, and so Jesus Christ gave the world to people, and then Jesus Christ gave everything to people, and people didn't respect him at all. Yes, and I'm feeling that exact same thing. Then, then so. If you hear dogs in the background, it's because some people are nearby and dogs are barking in the background. But listen to me. You have to understand that you have to listen to grow. Yes, and you have to grow your mind every single day, doing the best you can. And you have to do better for yourself. Yes, and but alcohol won't take you far. Cigarettes won't take you far. Caffeine won't take you far, guys. I see my grandpa live to 93 years of age. That's a good age to die at. Yeah, Sam. But I want to achieve at least 10,000 hours of life coaching before I die. Yeah, Sam. There's a long life left for me in life. And I'm really, really motivated to succeed. And I'm really motivated to get my life back on track. And people don't understand me. People don't think that I'm anything special. They see a fat guy and they say, oh, this guy's nothing. But I'm a life coach. I'm a music producer. And that's all I ever will be. I'm Danny Milovojevic. I mean, it's either you respect me or don't respect me. I do what you want with what you have. Do you understand? It's up to you. What you think about me is your business. That's not my business, what you think about me. What you think about me is not my business. Do you understand? What you think about me is your business, and that stays you. That stays who you are. What you think about me is who you are. So you think good thoughts about me, that means that you're good. Do you understand? So every single day, make sure that you think good thoughts about people. Every single day. Make sure that you learn to never have hate in your heart. Forgive. Say a prayer. Say a prayer. Say a prayer before you sleep. Ask God to help you every single day. And then, so always speak to God through feeling, through words, through mumbling. Go mumble to God something. Honestly, God can understand that. Yes, and God can understand exactly what you said. Yes, and so talk to God however you want. Do you understand? Even say to God what you don't understand, and God will understand you. <coughs> you have to understand there's always a way to succeed. You have to always woo yourself every single day to do something better for yourself, to learn, to grow. Yes, and, but the thing is now, since I'm with my mum, I'm not reading as much. And I'm not at my best, best version. Yes, and, but when I'm alone with my dad, I can be my best version. With my dad, I can be my best version. Because my dad doesn't influence me in a way that disrespects me. Yes, then. He doesn't disrespect my way of life. Do you understand? But my mother disrespects me to some extent. She doesn't allow me to live my life the way I want to live it. Do you understand? She doesn't understand what she's doing. And that's why I want to live alone. Do you understand? So that's something that's coming up in my life. And it's going to be a good life for me going to be able to live on my own, do things on my own. And I'd rather live in Australia than with my mum because I'm much more familiar with Australia, much more able to move around Australia than anywhere, than anywhere else around Australia. I'm able to do things for myself and I'm able to grow. <laughs> I mean, is it about travelling for me anymore? Apparently, nah. Apparently, <laughs> it's not about travelling for me. Apparently, it's about travelling through growth and my passions. 
Don't worry, it's about that for me. Don't worry, traveling via places of the world. Don't worry, when I look at Jesus Christ, I see how much I have. You know, say I have more than Jesus Christ in terms of traveling the world. I traveled the whole Australia. I traveled Europe. Do you understand? So the thing is that, for me personally, it's not about traveling the world anymore. Do you understand? It's more about settling down now. Settling down in one place. And starting a family is for me at the moment. Yes, and that's more for me. And that's my choice. Yes, and that's something that's my choice. And I see that. I see that's coming up for me in life. And my mum's not going to be happy with that. I'm pretty sure she's not going to be happy with me living with my dad and living alone in life. But that's my choice. Yes, I'd rather live with my dad. At the moment, and then I'm gonna live alone. You understand? Without my mum. You understand? So once I get my question papers, I'm gonna say to my mum, "Hey, I wanna live with my dad." <laughs> and she will be like, "Oh, but you said you're gonna to come to Europe." I said, "Yeah, mum." I said, "I'm gonna to come to Europe. Eventually, I'll come see you, mum. You understand? I'll come see you for a holiday. Just relax. You understand?" The thing is that being with my mum, I appreciate her. I love my mum to death. You know, I love my mum. I love my dad too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I rather live with my dad because he allows me to be. You know what I'm saying? He allows me to do better. And my mum allows me too, but she doesn't allow me. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't allow me to be a vegan. Yes, and she thinks in her head that things in her head like oh nuts are fattening. Yeah, it's fattening, but it's not that fattening. I promise you, the thing is that it's just a small thing, small changes in life. I mean, I'm getting my question papers for Europe at the moment, and. That's just in case I want to live with my mum. You know, and and if I live with my mum, I never have to pay rent ever. She'll pay for that. <laughs> so the thing is that we'll see what happens. We'll see where my life takes me. My life is an interesting life. I have to say so. That I have an I have an interesting life. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I vomited a bit in my mouth at the moment. The thing is that I feel not in the best place. You understand? I drank too much. I drank a half a bottle of vodka. <sighs> I have to learn to compose myself every single day. Do the best I can every single day. Do something that's successful. And you have to understand that when you do something that's successful for yourself, you always grow. You always learn. You take yourself out. You do something. You succeed in any way you can. Every single day, do something that's always better for you. <sighs> Do you understand? So that's what is helping you grow. Do you understand? That's what God says. God says, "Do what helps you grow." Do you understand? That's what you need to do. So every single day, when you actually grow, you find treasure. You find something that's successful in you. You spread that to the world. You give that for information. You learn how to grow yourself for information. If you give them that knowledge, and then you go and be your own person. Do you understand? Be whatever you want to be. Take yourself out for a drink, learn, but drink something healthy. Drink and eat healthy. Eat vegan food. I promise you, that's the best way.
listen, vegan food is the best way. Don't let other people encourage you who are against veganism. Listen, make sure that you let yourself encourage you to be a vegan eventually in your life. That's the way. That's the more kinder way of life. You understand? So you cannot look in a, you cannot look at an animal and then eat it. You understand? First, the thing is that many people do that. They look at animals and they eat them. The person is so stupid. That's very stupid. You understand? I mean, never ever kill this world. You understand? Try to be abundant with the world. Try to grow the world. Try to plant more trees. Try to plant more plants. Try to have a garden in your life. Have a garden. Water your leaves. Water your plants. You understand? Try to build something for yourself. Every single day, do something around work. Do something around your life. That's going to help you succeed. That's what you need to do. So, every single day you have to learn. You have to grow. You have to make sure every single day you're doing better. And just every single day express yourself, do you understand? That's what you need to do.